was one of those years where many things happened. And one of them was the big demo where we, the mouse was first shown to the, uh, most of the world. And as was mentioned earlier, uh, this idea of a personal, uh, very mobile tablet-sized computer for everybody, but especially to include children. So it was the idea is to have it be as much like a book that you learn in childhood as an automobile you might learn later in life. And also why we need to understand what Engelbart was trying to do, because as we'll see, the concentration on the technology, on the mouse and the video conferencing and so forth, uh, kind of got in the way of people understanding what the bigger ideas that Doug was doing. And here's the, uh, here's the hall where the demo was done, about 2,000 people or so fit in it. Here's where I sat. So many of them are about systems. Doug was a systems guy. He thought in terms of systems, and that's one of the things I'm going to try and explain in a couple of minutes, because one of the reasons that most people don't understand what he was driving at is he thought in terms of systems, and he tried to explain things in terms of systems. So here's a thing we call a, a rock in English. It's a thing. And this draws a kind of boundary around this idea. The word establishes a category. That is the way uh, words and thinking in words tends to be used. That isn't the way science and modern thinking thinks about it at all. Everything that is denoted as a, as a single thing is actually within a system. 